Hey guys, do you remember when we toured the studio that we I had these trees? I was trying out my glue. You all know how our glitter glue good does. Uh, sometimes you have to clean it out and I found one that worked. I haven't been out here using glue in a long time, so I did. But I want to cover these in my, I guess in my tour of the house, you saw the trees that were done in the linens and lace. Um, I've, I've done those quite a bit. And, but what I wanted to do today was to do it with cloth that I just found. Now, if I could go back and get other cloth, this was just cloth that I had. But if I could, if I were doing this again and I wanted three trees to look alike, I would get one of those quarter packs. Y'all heard May May talk about them. It's so charming. It's oh. a stack of fabric. This has all different patterns on it. So she has some that have uh, Christmas patterns on them. And you can have it everywhere from any color in the spectrum you want. But I just got these together. Now, I, I'm not have. I'm, I'm going to see how I like this light color in it. Uh, I thought it might work. We're just going to see. But what I want to do is give you the gist of what and how I did it. Now, I like to tear my fabric. Um, a lot of you aren't going to like to do that, so you can cut it any way you want to. I know all these strings are going because I just, just did tear this. But I, I, brought, I tore it, either tear it into rectangles or squares. I wanted some more green in my house. But I'm going to have to cut threads or not. I don't know. I'll see how it goes. But the first thing you need is your art glitter glue. This is what I had out here in the studio. I need some new, so I'll probably be making a, a, a run to May, uh, to May May's pretty soon. Now, you can do one of two things. You can paint this bottom, which that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint the bottom of mine green. And the other thing you can do is you can go around and cover this piece just like that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the bottom and I'm going to put me a pretty good amount of uh, glue and I'm going to just cover it up. Doesn't matter if the glue comes through, it's not going to show that much anyway. Now this one I've got, I have big pieces of fabric. Now you can use anywhere from, uh, well, any size you want, large, big, whatever. I like to use the large to to demonstrate, to show you, because it's the same technique no matter if it's a one inch or if it's six inches. So if you have smaller ones, and I leave my, I leave all this texture in there. So y'all don't panic. I do. I leave it in there. And I go, also I go back and if I have any loose ends, I'll glue them down. That's all you have to do. Now, when I overlap this one, when I overlap it, I'm going to overlap it, but I'm going to overlap it to the other fabric. I'm going to build it up that way. I'm not going to go straight line now. Don't panic about that. I'll fix that later. And don't panic about that because I'll fix that later. So we got that. And now let's just put this piece. Let's get the ho-ho down there. I'm going to put him straight on there. But what I'm going to do is, see, I see it's going straight on there. I don't want it to be straight. I'm going to cut out. I'm just going to cut straight over that. And I'm going to put my ho-ho down at the bottom. And I may end up cutting some of these pieces and making them smaller. I may make, wish I'd made them bigger. Who knows? Right. Because once it's done, it's done. I mean, you're, it's, it's going to be, okay, now, I think I need to glue him down better. And you'll have to go back. You'll have to go back. Now, I, I'm going to apologize for getting out of frame. This, this is a tall tree. I wish I could have found a small one, but I couldn't. It would have been the same technique. All right. So, here we go. This piece that I cut on a diagonal, I'm going to put him right there. And you build from the bottom to the top. 
this is just how I do it. I, when I explain how it's done, I'm explaining it the way I do it. I know there's probably 900 million ways to do this. Uh, and the other thing is, I kind of like to leave them loose on at some places. I don't glue it all the way down every time. This glitter glue, if you just get a little bit on there, it's going to hold it. But let me do, let me tell you this. You have to hold it a minute on the fabric if you need for it to stay in place. See, that's already beginning to look so cute. All right. Now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to lay him on the diagonal right here. I'm going to do this one a little different for you. I'm going to pick him up and do this. Are y'all ready for Christmas? I am ready for Christmas, but I'm not ready for opening gifts. <laughs> I still have some shopping to do. Briar and I are going to go shopping this weekend. Y'all know she's a teacher and she doesn't get out until Friday. And then although she's off all the next week, she has a lot of stuff going on. Uh, we're going to do gingerbread houses. I'll try to take you all along there. I'm going to, if, if I can, uh, I'm going to get Tam to see if she can help me do a live on Facebook. I know I can't do live on YouTube yet. I, I understand that. I'm going to get a few more and I'll do that. So, but we'll, we'll try to do that. All right. Now I'm going to take this piece. Aren't you glad Santa's on there like that? That's pretty cool. And I'm going to glue him. Now I may have to take the top off of this. I'm getting less and less glue. Oh, there we go. This one's working better. You have to use a little more glue. I used way too much glue there. Oh, look what I did. Whoo, that one was doing good, wasn't it? Then you do on, um, uh, well, you have to use a lot more glue than you do on your um, paper crafts. I love it because it dries clear. Okay. Now, do you see this strip right here? I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to lay him long ways there. I'm going to cut my strings off how I can later. I'm going to leave this little tab because, see, once I'm going to leave him kind of loose because he's not going to, I don't have to cover up anything with him. Kind of, kind of leave him 3D. You know, I just had a thought, y'all. This is fun because this is like kindergarten. This is like kindergarten doing a little lower than I wanted him. There we go. Um, I just had a thought. Wouldn't some buttons be pretty on here? I'm going to do some buttons. Now, here's a long strip that I had. Let's see if he'll work there. Mm, maybe half of him. And all I'm doing is just hodgepodge hodgepodge it on, just like they do crazy quilts. Ooh, I got to show you all my crazy quilt that, um, it's really old. It's so cute. There we go. Now, see how it's coming together? And, and, and I like, I like the little flappy things. You all may not, and if you don't, you, you do you. You do you. Because it does not matter one twit which way you do it. All right. I think I'm going to take this piece and cut it on the diagonal. I'm liking the diagonal. And I think I'm going to put him just right there. And I think I'm going to put him just right there. I think I'll put him all the way around. Oh, wrong glue. I'm going to have to take those in and clean them up. I don't have running water out here. I have some, I have a water source, but I don't have running water out here. So I'll have to take them inside and work on them. All right. Let's turn him over and get him a little place to be. There we go. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. I am liking that. I've got my Santa and Santa and Ho Ho. Oh, that's cool. That worked out good. So 
So let's see if there's another word we can find How about winter. Let's do winter. I didn't realize this had words on it. There's winter. We already have Santa Claus. Hey, how about special delivery? Special delivery. I want one of those. All right, let's put winter right up here at the top. I am hope I'm in frame. I so apologize if I'm not. This is real awkward. If it turns out pretty bad, well, I'll do a, next year, I'll do a small one. I'll try to look and get them as soon as they come out. Now, don't do it straight across. Do it at a diagonal. So you can come back here and what I'll do here is I'll take this little piece of green that I have and I'll just put him right in there. Does this reminisce of my journals, y'all? I haven't done a journal in a long time, have I? Hmm, I sure hadn't. So we'll just make this one work that way. Let's just make it work. There we go. Oh, he's looking cute, 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 cute. All right, let's get on up to the top. And as we get closer to the top, I'm gonna sh cut smaller pieces so it won't, I, I don't know why, I just feel like I should, so I'm going to. It's gonna be a little more awkward the closer you get to the top, but not too bad. I'm look, I'm gonna put this, I think I'm gonna put this in the kids' room. I think next year, I always do this. I always do this. Do y'all do this next year? I think next year I'm gonna use a lot more green than I did this year. I started with some green, but I, I kinda wanted to use what I had this year. And um, as I've gotten older, I've realized I can't go up and down those attic steps like I used to. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, rearrange my Christmas. Here we go. So that I can get to it easier. Now at the top, I'm going to trim off a little bit. Yes, I know I have glue all over me. I have pain all over me. I can't get out here and do just one thing, y'all. Okay. There we go. Just got him pulled his little pinky top off. Y'all, I'm not neat. I'm just telling you. I am not neat. I need to put him a little bit. There we go. I'm going to leave him loose. Okay. Now, quick and easy. I'm going to go through and cut off some of these strings. I like the ragged look. I don't want it to be stringy though. I'm going to cut this off. And like I said, I think I'm going to paint the bottom of mine. See, we have a little bit of a... Let me see if I can do this. Can I lift that up? Nope, I can't. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to paint it green at the base. But what you can do if you don't want to paint it green is you can do this. It's super, super simple, super easy. Let's see which way I want to do it. You can glue to the top and to the bottom. And the glue I like to paint, but I do want to give you the option of how you can do it if you do fabric. If you want it to match, you can match it. I can match something every once in a while when I think real hard. 
Now it's going to, as you go around the circle, as you know, it's going to pleat and plaid, but it doesn't have to be completely straight. It does not. You can have it, um, as you know, it just doesn't have to be straight. It won't be because it's a circle. I hope I'm doing better. I'm like, y'all, if y'all love this glitter glue, give me, give me something. <laughs> oh, it, to me, it just makes everything so much easier. And let me tell you what I've done. I did, <laughs> y'all are going to really laugh. I have, uh, I, I had a bottle of glitter glue in my purse for whatever reason. I don't know if I got a new bottle in, in, in there. I don't know whatever reason, but, uh, they had a, um, uniform malfunction. Somebody's uniform got ripped where it needed to be on the shoulder pad. And it was, it was like the V thing. So we took some glitter glue. Or I, I sent some glitter glue and they glued it back together. And it stayed through the ball game. Now it was rugged, but it stayed through the ball game. It wouldn't have stayed much longer, but it it kept getting down into the top of the shoulder pad, so it needed to come off. And it it stayed. It stayed through the game. That's all we needed for it to do was stay through the game. So art glitter glue to the rescue. completely flush so it'll stand. You can add a piece of lace at the bottom if you want to. You can add anything you want to. I'm telling you, I think I'm going to glue this one down to right there at least. I'm afraid he's going to get ripped. Okay. Okay. Another thing that you can do with this, if you would like is you can glue some buttons on. Now, I'm going to glue these on, but I'm not going to move them because it takes a little while for these to dry, as we were talking about before. But you could just go through here, find you some strategic places that you like, and button it. Button it up. There we go. There we go. I'm liking him. Now I'm gonna I am gonna stand him up. I'm gonna hold him at an angle so you can see. I don't think those buttons will pop off. But it this is exactly the same way I did the linen and lace one. It, it's hard to see. I like I wanted to do a contrasting fabric so you could see how it was done. It's hard to see it done white on white. Now, I chose this other patterns to do another one with to just show you I chose the lighter backgrounds on these. So, I just give you some options, show you how I do it, and till our next adventure.